go with the next category. We only the, we only need the noise and the video game, and we have um, gone through every category. Straight back to weird shit. All right. Just apartment intro song. All right. There we go. The intro song. Uh, also very beautiful. It's a power ballad for cockroaches all over the world. Fuck yeah, dude. Such a fucking uh, good vibe song. This is the cockroach version of the Beauty and the Beast Be Our Guest song. This is this is my be our guest song. <laughs> God damn, man! I fucking love these fucking dumbass creatures. Up next, video games. Video games. Hey, let's go. I think we've had. Yeah, I don't think we've had video games in a long ass fucking time, haven't we? What Bob is it gonna be today? F Zero Silence, bro. Fuck yeah! I said before that the original Super Nintendo F Zero is one of my favorite racing games of all time, and it also has one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. And the Silence um, theme song is I, I is is one of the tracks I love, but for some reason it was never really picked up in sequel games, unlike all the other songs. This song deserved updated, modernized versions of itself just as much as Big Blue or Mute City did. Energy cannon. Okay. At least it's not a million fucking crescendo. Next cad. That's what the cool kids say. <laughs> um chill again. C418 Sweden, another track that might get copyrighted, but I'm not entirely sure. C418 Sweden is one of the most iconic tracks in the Minecraft soundtrack, so I am almost 100% certain that you've heard it once or twice before. How bad can it be? Oh, immediately another boss. Can you compose with this great soul again? <laughs> A boss fight in C418 Sweden is kind of weird. Also, I only have three minutes for this thing, so there is. Oh. This might suck. Yeah, I, 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 I got myself caught there. You fuck. Let's go. Eat, eat these fucking energy beams. God damn it. God damn it. Free yourself. Expose yourself. I shall slay you, whether you are hiding in your fortress or not. Here we go. Okay, that was like, Jesus Christ. That was actually. Easier, quicker than expected. Way quicker than the first version of this boss, I guess. The first encounter. Also, one more and we got that boss beaten entirely too, I guess. So, progress, dude. Progress, progress, progress. We got 15 seconds left and you're sending me these two towers? Come on. <laughs> they are gone. Like nothing. Good game. Good run. Oh yeah, talk to me. A mere physical being like you cannot truly understand this. Yet you oppose me. I mean, you make it. Even if I don't understand you. You make it pretty damn clear that you have ill intentions, so why the fuck 
wouldn't I try to stop you, homie? Matt's choice again. All right, that's it's fine with me. <laughs> All right, we're playing the song "Cock" by the band Cunt. <laughs> I just found out about this band called Kant by complete coincidence one night when I was looking through a list of bands with weird names. Kant was some small German punk rock band in the 90s that released one EP or whatever and then disappeared into nothing. Like they are not a fucking, they were never big, they were never popular. They are. It's amazing that their music is even still available, but it's on YouTube, so it's not gone forever, I guess. It's a pretty nice bop, honestly, I like it. As far as, like, obscure punk rock goes, uh, I can vibe with it. I'm on the cock control. I'm on the cock control. I'm on the cock control. Yeah, honestly, this is a very catchy punk rock song. Honestly, um, honestly, honestly, <laughs> they had potential, if you ask me. I wonder what happened to the members after. The band's guns didn't go anywhere if they picked up other bands. What a bob. Cock by cunt, everybody. Cock by cunt. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, what else do we got? Weird shit again? Weird shit again. Okay. Let's go. I mean, it is still one of the biggest, fullest um, f folders, I think. So. Makes sense to exhaust that a little bit. Raccoon eats grapes with his little hands. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We got cockroaches, we got red pandas, we got raccoons now. <gasps> Alright, the raccoon eats grapes with his little hands. That's a very popular video on the internet, I think. So, and I just got the sounds of that, I guess. I don't, I mean, why not? Just fucking mouth smacking and chewing. The fucking laser square is even coming up in this one. Come on. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yes. Jesus, that raccoon is really going at it, man. They know what's good. Cockroaches, red pandas, and raccoons really are in my fucking top five. Somewhere in my top five of favorite animals of all time. For fucking sure, man. Alright. Double cannon. Yeah, I, I hit a point where these weapon unlocks don't mean anything anymore. I, I'm set. Nice. Hey, nice. We got every category in this recording session. This is, this is nice. Let's see. Merch by Woodpecker, number one, bro. Dude, yes. This is the number one Harsh Noise song. If you've ever heard a Harsh Noise song, it is very likely it might be this one. Or if you ever heard a fucking Harsh Noise meme, I would say it was 95% this one. Merch Bow is the biggest name in Harsh Noise. And Woodpecker number one is like his fucking number one hit singer. Whatever that means. If you're wearing headphones... Be careful. <laughs> Let's go with that iconic intro. There it is. Even though harsh noise is... I mean, the whole thing about harsh noise, at least pure harsh noise, is that it's... a wall of noise. It is messy. It is without a form. But the intro or the beginning of Mer Sparrow's Woodpecker number one is so iconic that it's actually easily recognizable after a while, after you've heard it a, a, a few times. 
it's not my favorite song in the harsh noise genre or even from this artist at all but it's it's just iconic it's a solid number it's never really the track i go to when i want to listen to some mod spell but uh it's still pretty good it's all right it's honestly the battlefield over here is way calmer than I would have anticipated with this song. I hope we can get on a more interesting Merc Spell track in the future, honestly. I don't really understand... Oh, here we go. I died for the first time. I don't really understand why exactly this is the one track that everybody knows. Why this is the most famous Merc Spell track. I don't think... Despite its iconic uh, beginning, I don't think this is a very remarkable song honestly it's fine it's decent but it like Mertzbow has way more interesting way more effective stuff on this under his belt in his ginormous fucking discography fuck okay here we go I'm losing lives now the pulsating beat is uh, nice though Maybe that's one of the reasons why this is one of the more popular things. Because of this pulsating beat, uh, it's actually giving the song a rhythm, which most likely makes it a bit more accessible to listeners, for listeners. Ooh, ooh, this drop was very nice. Okay, I like that a lot actually. It just ends. Okay, I died twice. Damn, homie. Matt's choice. Damn, we're, we're getting um, into Matt's choice way more often than I was anticipating to. Again, this is not a big folder, so this is done very quickly. Def IRL and Titmouse. List of the Mads. Nice, very nice. This is... Um, these two people are also artists that I only recently discovered, but I'm really loving their stuff. Up and coming indie producer, rapper, duo, going around on Bandcamp. Uh, definitely a project that I'm glad to give a little give a little platform here via my video. This fucking suicide bomb in the middle of the fucking screen is not nice. Please go away. What a bob, man. What a bob. Really, really curious um, what they are gonna do in the future, these two people. They have one uh, album out so far, if I remember correctly, which is full of great tracks, in my opinion. And from what I've read, they have something new coming out very, very soon. Chill. Alright. It's time to relax again, huh? Aim and Break, No We Are The System. Um, another Aim and Break song. Indie artist I found on SoundCloud years ago. Shouldn't there be a boss coming up again soon? Like, it's been a bit now. We've played a few songs without one. It's a bit unlikely that it would be in this one, since this is only three minutes long and they usually are in more in a bit longer songs. And they, <laughs> but here we are. I see a glimpse of brilliance in your challenge, but sometimes chance is mistaken for brilliance. Right. Goddamn, this fucking, this fucking enemy type. Fucking get your head out, you asshole. Goddamn, I only have half my ship, man. <laughs> this sucks ass. I, why did I touch that? God damn. 
<laughs> Dude, this is so annoying. Come on. Get out of your fucking hidey hole. Let's go. Eat it. Eat it. God damn. Eat it. I love that my web that my face cam fucking died for some reason once while I beat this thing. It's great timing for sure. You have We're making progress. A great composer, but your time is running short. What remains of the symphony of souls is making me more powerful with every moment that passes. Sure, whatever, bro. Oh no, we did uh, completely defeat him. Okay. Alright. Two more pages and then the game is done. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna head out for now. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.